Hi, I'm Paige Pierce with Sportsman's Warehouse, and today I wanna to talk to you about the five things to consider when you're buying your first bow. So the first thing you wanna look at is price. Obviously, everyone is gonna have a price point that they wanna stick with, and we wanna make sure that we keep you within that price range. Now, the next thing to consider is speed. Now, the way it works with archery is that the bows that are faster tend to cost quite a bit more, and bows that are a little slower tend to be quite a bit cheaper, but that doesn't mean that you're getting a lesser quality bow. Now, for beginners, the, something that's very important is going to be the overall forgiveness of your bow, or how easy it is to shoot. Now, speed and forgiveness actually work against each other. So, moving on, the next thing that you want to look at is actually the brace height of your bow, and that's going to be the length here. It's going to be from the back of the grip to the string. Now brace height is going to determine the speed and also the forgiveness of the bow that you're going to shoot. The shorter the brace height, the faster the bow. The longer the brace height, the slower the bow. But as that gets shorter, the bow gets a little bit more difficult to shoot, as in it magnifies the human error. And here's why. When you draw back and you shoot. As the string comes forward with a longer brace height, the arrow is going to leave the string sooner. With a shorter brace height, the arrow is going to stay on the string just a little bit longer. And while that doesn't sound like much, that little bit of time majorly magnifies any human error that you are going to have within that shot. So for a beginning archer, I would usually recommend a bow with a little bit longer brace height going to mean it's a little slower, but you're actually getting a bow that is easier to shoot as you're learning and do have a little bit of inconsistencies within your shot. Now the next thing to look at is going to be axle to axle, and that is literally the measurement from this axle to this axle. The longer the axle to axle, the more forgiving the bow. The shorter the axle to axle, again, a little bit harder to handle. But the other thing to consider is the string angle and your draw length. If you're someone with a very long draw length, I would recommend going with a bow that has a little bit longer axle to axle. The reason being that as you pull the bow back with a short axle to axle, the string angle on the back end can be very steep. With a longer axle to axle bow, it's gonna be a lot wider of a string angle and it makes it one, a little bit easier to anchor and two, a little bit easier to see through your peep sight as it's not set so far away from your eye. Now the final thing to consider is the overall comfort of the bow. One thing that's very important is the grip, as that's something you're gonna have to touch every single shot. And the next thing is going to be the draw cycle as you draw the bow. Every bow and every company using a different cam system is going to feel different. So once you've looked at those other factors and you've narrowed it down to just a couple different bows, go ahead and try them. You wanna make sure that you shoot the bow and choose the one that feels the best to you. Now I really hope that this explains to you what to consider when you're purchasing your first bow. If you have any questions, head into Sportsman's Warehouse, they'll be able to walk you through this, set you up, and you can even test the bows that you want to try firsthand.